Welcome to part 2 of this tutorial, installing the Wii Gator Backup Loader Gamma to your Wii. This will allow you to play games you've downloaded and burned. Before we begin, there's a few important things you need to know. Number one, the Twilight Hack must already be installed to the Wii. If you haven't done it yet, um, please watch the first video and install it already, you lazy bastards. Number two, your Wii must have an inter internet connection for installation. This is because it downloads the system files required to run the backup loader. So if your Wii is not connected to the internet, it's not going to work. So with that being said, let's begin. First, what you want to do is extract the files from the Wii Gator zip file I've included with the tutorial. Once that's done, open it up and you should see two folders, the apps folder and the wad folder. Next, you want to load your SD card. Then you want to take the two files, copy them, and paste them to the SD card. And overwrite. Once that's done, you can go ahead and put the SD card back into your Wii and we can continue with installation. Okay, so from the main screen, load the homebrew channel. Once it's done reading your SD card, you should see three of them. I have more, but you should only see three. Backup launcher, CIOS installer, WAD manager. Now, we don't need the WAD manager right now, but we'll come back to it later. First thing you need to do is run the CIOS installer. It installs some software from the Nintendo servers that allows the backup launcher to run. So make sure it has Sonic the Hedgehog icon. That's how you know it's the correct one. Click on it. Click load. This is a disclaimer. Yes, it does say use at your own risk, but there's like a one in a million chance that it can do anything wrong. So don't worry about it. Uh, go ahead and press A to start the installer. And this is where it connects to the internet and downloads the files required from the Nintendo servers. Uh, it might take a few minutes. Also, some people have said that the downloading part of it is prone to failure. If it does fail, uh, just restart the uh, homebrew channel and uh, relaunch the installer for CIOS and keep trying until it downloads and installs completely. Okay, once it's done, it'll say installation complete. And it should boot you back to the homebrew channel. Okay, now that that's installed, go to go to your backup launcher and load it. Okay, this is the main screen for the backup launcher. Uh, launch game, obviously, will launch the game. Config options, we'll go ahead and go into that, so press A. Now there's really only two options that you need to know about here. First one is you want to change force NTSC to yes, because NTSC is the USA region. And the hook type. Now the hook type is uh, basically whatever controller type you're using, whether it's GameCube pad, uh, the Wii pad. I'm not sure what Vi is, so I just leave it alone. Easiest just to leave it on GC pad, which is GameCube pad. Uh, the other option is Ocarina, whether you want it on or not. That's really not necessary right now because that's a cheating device and you have to install that later. So just leave that as no. Then hit A to return the menu. Now what we want to do here is hit press B and that will reboot the Wii with the new options. 
say rebooting with hooks. Okay, once you get back here, go ahead and load the disk channel. And just so you are aware, this is a burned copy of Call of Duty World at War that I just downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in and we will see if it reads. Now the loading times are a little bit longer but not by much, maybe a few seconds longer. So let's give it a second. And there you have it. Easy as that. Now you can just start this as normal but we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, I've got one more thing to show you, so we will go back to the Wii menu. Now, there's uh, one other thing you can do that will make your life a whole lot simpler. It's uh, creating a basically a shortcut channel that goes straight to the backup launcher. And uh, so I'll show you how to install that now. So load the homebrew channel again. Okay, now this time we want to use the WAD manager like I was discussing before. So go ahead and load that. Another disclaimer, just press A to continue. Now you want to select the uh, SD slot, so you want to press A again. And this will list all the WAD files that you have. I have a lot more than you will have. You'll just have Wii Gator 0 0.3 Gamma. At this point, you have two options. You can press the plus button on your remote to install a particular WAD. Or, if a WAD is already installed, you can go here and press the minus button and it will uninstall the WAD. We want to install Wii Gator, so go ahead and press plus. It will ask you if you're sure. Press A to continue with that. It will start installing. Some of these wads take longer than others. If it seems like it's not doing anything, just let it go. Uh, it, some of them do take a while. But this one's pretty short. So once it's done, press any con any button to continue. It'll bring you back to the list. To go back to uh, the main screen, just hit home, and it'll restart your entire Wii. Once it's restarted, should see a brand new channel there for the Wii Gator. Click on it, hit start. It'll load you right back to here. That'll make things a lot simpler than going through the homebrew channel. Well, that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed enjoyed it and enjoy playing your homebrew games and your burn games. If not, I surely enjoyed your mom. If you have any questions or problems, please direct them to Ducky. Hey George!